Not in blazes! Wake up, lazy bones! Why don't you work hard like me? Oh, Gordon, do you ever get tired of pulling that gag? If I did, I wouldn't keep pulling it, would I? <sighs> I trust you have a good reason for interrupting my well-earned rest. Yeah, I gotta take the express soon. So go get me coaches already. I will collect your coaches when I am good and ready. Oh, okay. Then I'll see you next week, fat face. <laughs> what cheek! That Gordon is too big for his wheels. Fancy speaking to me like that. Me who has never had an accident. Isn't crashing through a station master's house or falling down a mine an accident? No, indeed. High spirits. It could happen to any engine. Except it didn't. It happened only to you. <sighs> <laughs> Ah, uh, some things never change. So what did you chaps think of the season finale? Oh, I loved it. Especially the part where the wall came tumbling down. I'll admit, it never actually crossed my mind that the Night King would use Viserion to do that. Arr, me neither. Had me on the edge of my seat. Though, I'm not entirely convinced by that image going around of the undead supposedly forming a wolf's head as they march through the breach. I don't know. They never say or do anything on that show unless it has some importance to the plot. It's a bit on the nose if you ask me. Maybe. But the one thing I'm sure we can all agree on was that Littlefinger getting his comeuppance was gold. Oh, definitely. Army hearty. He deserved to walk the plank a long time ago. What was that? Somehow I wager a certain pair of scallywags are behind it. Me too. I'll go see what they're doing. I was here first! But you're in my way! You'll have to back up again! I won't! You will! I won't! Oh, Lord save me. Ah, Edward! Good thing you're here. Would you kindly tell Benny to back on up? Edward, would you ask Billy to please shove off? No and no. I'm tired of always having to break up your fights. You two can either sort this one out yourselves, or stay there until the seasons change. Well, it looks like winter is coming. On that we can agree. Fine. It doesn't bother me. Or maybe it does. Tell me you at least got my next train ready. Of course we did. It's over there in the siding. Why do you need to take that much china clay to the little western anyway? Plot convenience. Oh, I see. Alright, I best get moving. Try not to cause too many problems while I'm gone. See you later, Edward. Bye! Now, whose turn was it? I believe it was yours. Oh, right. <clears throat> I won't. You will. I won't. Express coming through. What's going on over there? What's up, duck? Having a spot of bother with those old trucks? Oh, shut up, Diesel. I don't need you. And I certainly don't need to hear about the British Railway. Beg pardon, duck, but I think you do need my help cleaning up the mess. But since you seem to think otherwise, I'll leave you to it. Have fun. Her, her, her. Phew. Whatever next. I had to ask. Seriously, Donald? Again? How did it happen this time? Same as the last one. Some silly twit spilled oil on the track and didn't tell no one about it, much less clean it up. Ah, <sighs> me tender's gonna be all banged up, that's for sure. Oh, stop your moaning, Donald. It's just a little prang. Nothing to get into a tizzy about. Thanks for the support, Douglas. 
Haven't you got a brake van to smash up or something? Oi! You bring that up again, I'm gonna give you the thrashing of a lifetime. I swear on me driver's mum. Hey! Don't be a tosser, Dave. Ugh, blimey. It's double, double trouble today. What was that, Edward? Nothing. I'm sure you'll be fine, Donald. You've gone through not just this experience before, but far worse, too. I guess you're right. Anyway, sorry to ask this of you chaps, but where can I put these trucks? Just over there in the siding. We'll get to them later. Just take care, Edward. Percy's over there, too, and he's having another one of his existential moments. Oh, great. Good luck. Thanks. I'll probably need it. Hello, Edward. You look a wee bit put out. Oh, it's just been a rough one. Bill and Ben were causing all sorts of problems at Brendam and... Uh, I know what you mean. I too am feeling a bit bothered today. No offence, Percy, but I'm not really in the mood for a question about why we're here or any other such nonsense. Excuse me? What are you banging on about? It's just... The last couple of videos you've been in... Those are not canon. Besides, I'm talking about something real. I'm feeling frustrated. About what? I passed through Napford Station earlier today, and I couldn't help but think that there was something wrong. What sort of something? That's just it. I don't know. And it's been pestering me ever since. Hmm. You know, now that you mention it, there does seem to be something wrong about the island today. Kuh. <laughs> It's probably something so obvious and so large that... Eureka! That's it! What's it? A large mass! That's what I saw at the station! What mass? What are you talking about? The thin controller! He's gotten fat! Hey! No fat shaming on Sodor! Sorry, sir. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be laughing, but... <laughs> oh. Thank you, Percy. You always know how to lift an engine's spirits. I do what I can.